All right, what's up everybody? It's Mary Chirk with Svelte Training and we're inside. So a little bit different atmosphere for you guys. Figured that it would be nice to have something that was inside. So this is your slim legs workout. We're working the inner thighs, the outer thighs, the butt, all the things that make you look nice in shorts and in dresses and all those things. So here we go. First exercise, we're gonna walk you through all of them and then do our workout together. So the first one is the sumo squat with a calf raise. So sumo squat, legs out, facing out, feet facing out, you're gonna be squatting down and then lifting and then down and then stand. So squat, lift, down, stand. If this is too much, just go down halfway and try to lift or you can lift one and the other if you don't feel balanced enough, okay? So down and up or your side to side. Okay, then we're going a tabletop leg circle. So we're gonna do these a couple ways. In your tabletop, I want you to pull your belly button in towards your spine, okay? I want you to keep your chest over your hands. And what I want you to do is extend the leg. I want you to bring it over and then a big circle and tap. So over and tap. So you're not only getting your core, but you're also getting your outer thigh. Same thing on the other side. Extend nice and wide and then tap behind you nice and wide tap behind you. From here, we're going fire hydrants. Same thing, chest up, pull the core in, lifting and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Same thing the other side, lift and squeeze. You wanna make sure that when you do this, you're not pushing back because you're gonna hurt your shoulders, but you're also not putting your hands together. So you wanna keep your fingers nice and wide so that you have all this space, all this surface area to protect your wrist. The last couple exercises we're doing, first one is an extended clamshell. So you're going legs completely straight out, keeping your core tight and pulled in, and you're lifting your leg as you're doing this. So you're getting a lot of core work, but it's gonna be that outer thigh that's getting a ton of work here. You're gonna be flexing your foot towards your face. So flex your toe towards your face, so you get a little bit more in that hamstring. Then we're gonna do the other side. So you're switching over as you're doing this, extend the leg out, and then lifting straight up. So point or flex, but I want you to flex here and then lift it straight up, point that towards your face. Then the last thing we're gonna do is a single leg hip bridge. So with your hip bridge, okay, or your hip press, roll the tailbone under, I want you to press up. So this is your regular press, right? And then this is your single leg. You're just gonna hold it here, but I want you to push back on your heel on this leg because it's gonna fire your hamstring and really get your butt tightened up. Okay, then we're gonna switch, same thing. If this is too much, just hold it straight up. So that is your slimming leg workout. It's really going to tighten up your legs, make you feel like you've got everything nice and slim. So let's go ahead and do this together. 30 seconds on, then we're doing a transition from each exercise, okay? So it doesn't have to be a long transition. I'm not gonna count it, you're just gonna follow me. So 30 seconds on, starting in five, four, three, two, and down. So you're down, lift, and stand, lift and stand. You wanna make sure that you're not leaning forward, okay? Sit down at the heels and lift. So sit down, lift. Remember you can go either side too if you stay down into that sumo squat, really getting those inner thighs. Stand, one, two, stand. Or from here, lift, down, stand, lift. Hold this, three, two, one and up, down into those tabletops, okay? So from here, big breath, three, two, one, extend the left leg, come over, big circle and up. We're going 15 seconds and then switching here. I'm gonna do a couple rounds, so don't worry that you're not getting enough in on this side. I just wanna make sure that we're sticking with this timestamp. After 15 seconds, we switch. And last one here, then switch sides. Big breath, extend that right, come over. Circle up, down, circle it up and over. The higher you circle, the more of your butt it's gonna get to, which is awesome. Remember we're going to fire hydrants next. And down, big breath, start with that left. Same thing, 15 seconds and lift. Squeeze, try to keep your, your chest square over your hands so you're not leaning too much. Okay, really lifting and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Remember 15 seconds here, then swapping. And one more and switch and lift and lift. I like to do time-based because 
doesn't matter how many reps you do, it's just as long as you feel like you're getting it done. That's all I care about. I don't want you to try to rush through these reps to match mine. Good, and down. Extended clamshell, we're just running straight through this really fast. That's what I love about these workouts, is that they're fast. That means you can do them anytime, anywhere. So we're gonna go 30 seconds here, 30 seconds on the other side, just because it's gonna be too much for you guys to switch too quickly. Good, so another 15 seconds here, and then we're gonna switch sides. Good, and you're just gonna flip right over. So you feel it in your core, pull it in here, breathe, chest up, and last one, squeeze, switch sides, flip over nice and fast. Nice thing about this too is we're not getting up and down, so you're not gonna get a head rush, which is really nice. Ready, and up, and squeeze. So you can see I'm really squeezing my obliques too as I'm leaning forward, getting from my hip, okay, nice and tight in that leg, but also getting ab work, which, you know, who doesn't like ab work? Good, big breath, big breath here. Remember we're going 30 seconds on this side. And hold that, and down, single leg hip bridge. All right, I wanna go 15 seconds on each side. So get into that position, push the hips up, right leg up for 15 seconds, reach to the sky, push down on your heel, keep the toes up, good. Breathe, you're gonna switch at 15 seconds, pull on that core here, pull everything in. Big breath and swap, keep your legs up. Okay, if you need to, you can put both down, but I want you to drive up onto that heel. Feel like your leg is on fire here. Big breath, hold it, hold it, hold it. And down, take a big breath. We're going straight into those sumo calf raises for round two. So let's go ahead and do this, ready? Big breath, three, two, one, and go. So down. And lift, so sit down, lift. Remember you can go either side too if you stay down into that sumo squat, really getting those inner thighs. Stand, one, two, stand. Or from here, lift, down, stand, lift. Hold this, three, two, one, and up. Down into those tabletops, okay? So from here, big breath, three, two, one, extend the left leg. Come over, big circle and up. We're going 15 seconds and then switching here. I'm gonna do a couple rounds, so don't worry that you're not getting enough in on this side. I just wanna make sure that we're sticking with this timestamp. After 15 seconds, we switch. And last one here, then switch sides. Big breath, extend that right. Come over, circle up. Down, circle it up and over. The higher you circle, the more of your butt it's gonna get too, which is awesome. Remember going to fire hydrants next. And down, big breath, start with that left. Same thing, 15 seconds and lift. Squeeze. Try to keep your, your chest square over your hands so you're not leaning too much. Okay, really lifting, squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Remember 15 seconds here, then swapping. And one more and switch and lift and lift. I like to do time-based because it doesn't matter how many reps you do, it's just as long as you feel like you're getting it done. That's all I care about. I don't want you to try to rush through these reps to match mine. Good, and down. Extended clamshell, we're just running straight through this really fast. That's what I love about these workouts is that they're fast. That means you can do them anytime, anywhere. So we're gonna go 30 seconds here, 30 seconds on the other side, just because it's gonna be too much for you guys to switch too quickly. Good, so another 15 seconds here, and then we're gonna switch sides. Good, and you're just gonna flip right over. So you feel it in your core, pull it in here, breathe, chest up, and last one, squeeze, switch sides, flip over nice and fast. Nice thing about this too is we're not getting up and down, so you're not gonna get a head rush, which is really nice. Ready, and up, and squeeze. So you can see I'm really squeezing my obliques too as I'm leaning forward, getting from my hip, okay, nice and tight in that leg, but also getting ab work, which, you know, who doesn't like ab work? Good, big breath, big breath here. Remember we're going 30 seconds on this side. And hold that, and down, single leg hip bridge. All right, I wanna go 15 seconds on each side, so get into that 
position, push the hips up, right leg up for 15 seconds, reach to the sky, push down on your heel, keep the toes up, good. Breathe, you're gonna switch at 15 seconds, pull on that core here, pull everything in, big breath, and swap, keep your legs up, okay? If you need to, you can put both down, but I want you to drive up onto that heel, Feel like your leg is on fire here. All right, so you're holding, driving up, press on that heel. Five seconds, we're almost done. Press a little bit higher, pull the core in. Three, two, one, don't fall down yet. Press up, I want you to hold this, stretch it out. Roll that back down. Sit up nice and tall. Take your time to stand up, a little bit of active recovery. And that was it, your slimming leg workout. Really awesome way to make sure that you're toned and tight in your leg area. If you like this, make sure you share it. Watch all of our other videos to make sure that you're tightening your arms, your abs, your back, and your butt. And also just getting some cooking in. We've got everything for you guys. So we'll see you on the next workout.